Hey, Math 233, this is Professor Talbert. Going to give you a little bit of a rewind on the lecture from this morning on least squared solutions to linear systems. Um, we were looking at a problem from the group activity from earlier in the week where we were trying to solve a linear system. That linear system had a coefficient matrix of 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 1. And we were augmenting that with the uh, vector 1, 1, 2. This was uh, arising from trying to fit a line through three points, 1, 1, 2, 1, and 3, 2. What we saw was that we couldn't do that because those three points aren't collinear. So the system, if uh, this matrix I'm going to call A and this vector here I'm going to call B with an arrow, then the uh, system AX equals B was inconsistent. Inconsistent. Okay, lots of systems we set up in the real life are inconsistent. So what we we're going to try to do is find an X that was the best approximate solution to this system we could. And that solution, that solution, that approximate solution is going to be called a least squared solution. So what you did in the activity was uh, basically this picture here. Um, the fact that the, sys the system was inconsistent means that if this plane here represents the column space of A, then B, my solution vector up here, is not in the column space. Okay, so here's B, and the thing to note is that it is not in the column space of A. All right, so what we want to do is find the vector that is in the column space of A that is as close as possible to B. And as we know, that's this guy down here. Uh, this uh, vector, of course, is the projection, the orthogonal projection of B into the column space of A. And we're going to call that for right now B hat. So B hat, if I replace, so this system up here, AX equals B is inconsistent. But if I replace it, the B with an arrowhead with B hat, this system is consistent. There will be a solution because I just built B hat specifically to be in the column space of A. So I am going to get a solution to this particular system. I'm going to call the solution, the X vector for this system, X hat to distinguish it from just regular X up here. So this system here is going to have a solution and this uh, X hat, which is the solution to my system, is called a least squares solution. Least squares. solution to this original system. It's not a solution to this original system, but it is the best approximation to a solution to this original system that we can come up with. So our goal uh, right now is to find it. Find calculate x hat through whatever means we have. Now the means that we used uh, or you used in class was to take b actually calculate the projection of B into the column space uh, by and, and then uh, solve this system using row reduction. Finding this B hat was a little hard to do because that involved getting an orthogonal basis for column space of A and a lot of other calculations which even uh, if you understand the concepts you're still pretty error prone uh, in doing these calculations. So what we're going to do here is find a different way of calculating X hat. So let's go up to this white space and think about how we might do that. The one thing to notice here is that in the picture, okay, here's B, here's B hat. B minus B hat is this vector. Okay, vector B minus B hat. And it is orthogonal to the column space of A. So we're going to use that fact right now, the fact that uh, B minus B hat is orthogonal to A. Orthogonal not to A, but to uh, the column space of A. And what that means is that B minus B hat is orthogonal to each column in A. So B minus B hat, this vector, is orthogonal to each of the columns in A. So that means, uh, if I can just move all this stuff down here, that means that B minus B hat is orthogonal to something else that's interesting, to the rows, the rows now, of A transpose, okay, because the rows of A transpose and the columns of A are the same thing. 
So B minus B hat is orthogonal to each row of A transpose. And I can write that as an equation, because that means that if I take A transpose, which is a matrix, and multiply it by B, the original B, minus B hat, then what am I doing? I'm taking the rows of A transpose and dotting them with this vector. And so that's gonna be zero every time. What that's gonna give me is the zero vector. So let's play with this equation a little bit. I'm gonna multiply the, well, before I multiply the matrix through, I'm gonna replace B hat with something. And that something is AX, okay? This AX is the exact same thing as B hat. So I'm gonna replace here. So this tells me that A transpose times B minus A X hat is zero. This is where I made the mistake in the lecture this morning, by the way. I kept this as regular X, but actually it's X hat. And that's important because what am I trying to do? I'm trying to find X hat. Okay, so I've got an equation now that involves X hat. Let's just play with this. So now this tells me if I multiply the A transpose through that A transpose times B minus A transpose times a times x hat equals zero. Now let's just get the uh, this term, a transpose ax hat, onto one side. And so that's this is gonna tell me that a transpose a x hat equals a transpose b hat, b, okay? Now this thing right here is a system, okay? Here is its coefficient matrix times an unknown vector equals some other vector. It's just a straight old linear system matrix times an unknown vector equals another vector. And so I can actually find x hat by solving this system. So I can uh, do one of two things at this point. I can row reduce, row reduce echelon form uh, the system with coefficient matrix. It would look like in MATLAB, it would look like uh, A transpose A comma A transpose B. I can just simply row reduce it or I can get x straight out, x hat straight by multiplying the uh, right side of the equation, a transpose b, by, this is getting really crowded here, a transpose a inverse. Either way we look at it, what we're doing here is solving a system. So I can find uh, this, this little equation right here, which is really a collection of equations because this is a system. Okay, this thing right here is uh, again known as the normal equations. Normal equations that will find you the least squared solution x hat. Now we're going to go to MATLAB and see how this actually works. Okay, so here we are in MATLAB and I've loaded in the A and the B matrix that were in the group activity from the other day. And let's use the normal equations to uh, find the x hat, the least squared solutions. So according to the normal equations, I need to solve a system, uh, row reduce echelon form, and the coefficient matrix is A transpose times A, and the uh, solution vector is A transpose times B. And uh, as you can see, when I row reduce this, I actually get the solution I wanted, which is 0.5 and 1 third. We could have also uh, done the following. We could have taken uh, A transpose times B, which is this, and then multiply the answer uh, on the right by A transpose times A, the entire thing inverse times that, and I get the same thing. So you see the normal equations are a way to get the least squared solutions without having to find an orthogonal basis for the column space.